Uh, still can't get to those rebounds though, Tim. Kicked by Mentenudo out to the right point, Jenny, and he scores! 8 6 7 5 3 0 9. Jenny, Jenny, who can I turn to? Nick Jenny has scored a goal, and there's your exhale, Mike. One to nothing, Colonials. 12 28 left to go in the first. Offensive zone face off, back to the point, and let it go and see if you can get it to the net, see if you can get a tip, see if you can get a deflection, see if you can get a screen. That time Jenny gets a goal. Mantenuto kicks it back to Jenny, takes a, a walk off the boards to give himself an angle, and I think that's going to be his goal. Uh, there was a little bit of traffic in front, but that one didn't get blocked. It didn't get tipped wide. It didn't get caught by the goaltender. It's in the back of the net. RMU leads one to nothing. Been having, and everybody has to come out of the zone, and the Colonials will now change behind the play. Turnover to Kramer, though. Walks in, shot saved by Radomski. Golden opportunity. Oh, shot off the knob of the stick. Clean faceoff win and a good slap shot from Jake Coleman. But a save by Radomski and now an elbowing penalty. Yeah, I think Coleman's going to go. And uh, can't tell who's the most upset there. Darrow was going after somebody. Ferguson was the one who absorbed the hit. And I'm trying to take a look here, Mike. Now we got the reverse angle to see what they saw. It was Ferguson who took the hit. And he got plowed by Coleman. I think it's boarding. Boy, run. what a loss this would be if they give him. can score as many times as they want. Kessel, down beneath the goal line, pass, shot. Great save by Kappelmaster. Or oh, you can hear the thud of the pad all the way up here. As a clean pass, hit Connor Jean right on the tape. He fired, and Kappelmaster was true. Oh, just brilliant. Uh, Logan Ferguson to Kappelmaster's right uh, between the goal line and the faceoff circle, and he fired that puck across and... Uh, Found Connor Jean, a one-timer, but Justin Kappelmaster moved. Made some space as he pirouettes around. Under a minute left to go on the power play for Robert Morris. Shot saved, does not get through. Good save there from Radomski, who went on the ice along the pads to rob Justin Adamo, who can't find love on Locust Street. Yeah, very similar to that play that uh, Kappelmaster robbed Jean on uh, down at the other end. Adamo coming down the off wing and across the crease pass. And he got a one-timer off. Didn't quite get all of it. He was trying to go five-hole. And Redon is going to create a break here for Holy Cross. Lee Bold pass back over. Shot saved by Kappelmaster. Now a wraparound and a score from Kessel. Kessel has scored to tie it up at 1-1. 7.56 left to go in the second. The Colonials might challenge this. There was definitely a check from behind that caused this whole break to happen in the first place with no call. Yeah, the bench was screaming about it. Uh, Daniel Mantenuto talking with one of the referees now. And a three on two developed after that non-call and the check from behind. Kappelmaster made the initial save. Oh, uh, I wonder if they're gonna get goalie interference here, Mike. But the puck bounced up in the air. Kessel collected it behind the net and then wrapped it around. In by Holy Cross on the back end. Goes off the back end of Perkusik and off the back of the net. Hart to Kynan, turning shot to score! We heart Hart to Kynan and we're playing on Sunday night! Extended zone opportunity and Mike called the shot. Hart to Kynan gets the goal. Two to one, Colonials win! Leave the lights on at the ground round for another night as we're playing hockey again in Moon Township. Boy, they deserved that one, Tim. They were in that zone for, felt like about 10 minutes and the puck support, Alex Roberts sneaking in on the, on the back door, and they're unable to hit him, but every time a defenseman went down, a forward had it covered. Great work by Mantenuto, great work by Prokusik. Everybody's staying with it, keeping at it, and finally, Hart to 